Shamalama Ding Dong Two Birds, and welcome back to Let's Play Ogre Battle with me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode, we we gathered up all of the Zodiac Stones, did a little bit of side questing. Now we've got them all. We'll probably never speak of it again until the end of the game. Let's go to Fort Shamalama, which is, I believe, where we've heard Tristan's mother is being held, possibly, and also one of the four divas. So look forward to that. And we've also got a map with some water on it, so you know what that means. We have to use Aisha again. So, uh, let me just take a quick look around. Um, not the largest map I've ever seen. Lots of mountains in the middle, so it might be good to put a couple mountainous units sort of along that line, because I feel it's pretty likely they'll be sending enemy units straight at us along sort of this diagonal direction to our base. They tend to do that. So maybe I'll send, like, a couple flyers to liberate those. Or a single flyer. Maybe the bulk of my army will head sort of south and southwest. I'll send Aisha down. Maybe it's over to this direction, sort of. Somewhere in there. Once we've fought off the first couple waves, then I'll worry about the southern cities. And uh, we'll push towards the enemy base. Okay, I got myself a plan. Now, also of interest, today I'm going to fight again. It's been a while and I'm a little bit behind in levels, so... I am going to actually do a little bit of liberating. And seeing as I've got better luck, I should liberate the stuff close by because I'll, we'll simply will get better stuff for it. Or we'll have a better chance of getting stuff. I am going to send Guy like I suggested. Although he is slushed in this unit, is actually losing a lot of alignment. But uh, the princess and everything is okay. So we'll send them to liberate down that way. Like I said, I want to send Aisha. We'll send her... Well, to start with, we'll just send her sort of this way and we'll see what I need. Uh, I've got more written down. I was thinking about using Norn again. So Norn, I think, will be the other sort of high alignment unit that hangs out with me in the middle. That'll work out. I also was going to use Hold Foggy. Kind of a neutral alignment unit. I'm going to send him into the mountains as well. He is actually, perhaps, with a red dragon, even good at fighting in the volcanoes. Maybe. Uh, what else have I got on my list? Eric, you're going to be nighttime fighting. I'll send you sort of towards the middle as well. And I will also send Geist, who hasn't really had a new chance with this unit. Now, he's actually pretty quick at moving through the water, so I'm gonna tentatively send him down like this way, and I'll see sort of what path he takes to get over here. And then the last one I'm gonna deploy is Phantom, of course, because having undead is always fun, and they're actually a surprisingly cheap unit. So I'll have them kind of follow along with me guarding if I need any help along this southern path. And that will do. Okay. And away, my warriors. And myself. So, we've liberated Reindeerburg. Reberberg? I don't know. It's kind of a weird name. And I get the lovers, just in case we didn't have enough reputation. Stack it up, stack it up. General Previa, one of the four divas, is in Fort Shamalama, on the tip of the peninsula. So we're going to run into a diva soon, not a Vida. They keep spelling the name wrong, it seems like. Okay, so... Yeah, Fogel is like a mountain move, so you should go through those pretty quickly. So we get any enemy vision here. Liberated Brawayo. Bravado. Te definitely Bravado. Oh, that's not so good. But my strength! The Empire's main legions are made of mainly samurai and knights. They are sure to become a formidable enemy. Honestly, of my entire unit army, samurais and knights aren't the best. <laughs> I mean, no offense, Ash and uh, Land, you guys are pretty awesome, but the average samurai wasn't that amazing. Alright, so do I want to go straight south right away? There's probably something hidden in one of these mountains, like right in there. Um, maybe something, something along here. Well, it's going to be nighttime, so I'm going to send sort of the uh, eviler units forward. We'll see how they do. And I will liberate that temple because as well. And we're going to keep sending um, Eric a little bit more forward because, again, he'll be ready to fight for the night. 
Norns to stop, that's fine. Actually, his speed just picked up a lot. That's actually one of the problems with vampires as well. During the day, they move so slow, it's hard for them to really keep up with some of the other units. Foggy's done. Oh, there we go. Okay, we've liberated Orapa. Oh, you Rapa. And the full card is effective. Do we need any? Yeah, we did need a card. Okay. We support the rebels in all respects. It's not much, but please take this ivory goddess. May the gods follow you always. I'm pretty sure that's a sell item. Let's have a quick look. One of the works of the master carver Balkis. Um, I guess we'll just sell it, honestly. I'm pretty sure I would recognize a key item here. Yeah, it's worth enough money. It's probably that, just for selling. Okay. Now, I did see an enemy unit. Hold it up. Where are you going? Oh, you went right past everybody. Uh... Well, that's what happens when you got a wyvern in there. Um... I don't even know if I could get anyone in, in the way to stop them right now. Try with Aisha. Definitely... Geist definitely moved quick. Try to put him in the path of oncoming traffic. Alright, let's just keep an eye on what's happening here. That unit is moving super fast. Well, we got some treasure, so that's a success. We got the Flame Sword, one of the weaker ones, but, you know, fire weapons are alright. Okay, Aisha did catch him, but we'd need to completely wipe him out or else he's gonna go conquer our base and we'll just lose the map right away, so... Well, well, no, but <laughs> that's what it's trying to do. So Strong would be the most useful here. If I could kill the Flyer, we'd be over. Actually, even if we kill the Wyvern, they would still count as Low Sky because the demons are all, um, Low Sky. They're gonna do a lot of damage to our Princess with that Nightmare. Unless we kill them all. I think there's a good chance we're gonna kill them all. I got a feeling they're all dead. Oh, Mermaid, Sandy. Still. Got a Kraken on our side. What do they got? Just a dodgy demon. There we go. Woohoo! Good save, good save. Didn't have to use any items. And we're gonna keep sending you this way where you're supposed to be. Right, hold up. Hold up. Hey, we liberated the city of OK! Ganja. Nice one. Basically what it is. So you know their specialty at this city. Empress card. I like having a couple of those. Uh, let's throw away something. Or Empress, I meant to say. Um... We've got a lot of Emperor cards. I'll switch one for an Empress. Most of those supporting you are people in their teens and twenties! Is that who watches this channel? I didn't know that. Ah, the young are always hot-blooded and overconfident of their own power to boost your views on YouTube. Be sure not to waste more lives than necessary. Well, your lives are all wasted sitting there watching me. Just kidding. Okay, that got a little bit meta. Awesome. Alright, good work, guy. Let's have you... I don't want to totally leave those cities undefended, but if I put him around here, he'll be able to intercept anyone heading north, I think. Alright, we got a good... Looks like we got some good positioning there now, between the uh, Swamp Dragon. Or the Swamp Movement Black Dragon. You know, the hero. Another Emperor card. If I needed them, those are really good. And an item! See? That... Terrible item. They're just throwing flame swords away again, but, uh, you know, at least I found something. Do you know Queen Florin of Zenobia? I had heard that she died 25 years ago, but apparently that wasn't so. Everyone now says that Queen is being held by General Previa in Fort Shamalama. I guess we should rescue her, huh? Alright, so, are you gonna catch these? Oh. There's. Well, what have I got for items ready to go here? Do I have any holy weapons? No. Of course I don't. Wait a second, I think maybe in this unit... No, label's not mystic. Magic's not mystic. So we wouldn't be able to actually kill this unit off. This one would be acceptable though. Just difficult. Um... 
Oh, okay, hold on. I need to find uh, at least one white weapon. So we need to take it off someone who's got like a Brunhild or... I know, I know I've got some people with, with holy weapons. Just, just not doing anything with them. Sigmund, I don't believe counts as holy. Runax does, okay. Sorry, Pandora, I'll try to remember to give that back to you later. But I need it right now to make my life easier. Look at these amazing flame swords. Alright, so we're gonna give that to our uh, Tiger Man for now. That should be considerably more effective against these types of enemies. Like, essentially from uneffective to one-shot. You know, a little bit better. Just a little. So we want to focus on... Ah, yeah, strong is fine for the magic, because it'll focus on the Raven Men. Yeah, your Infernals are nothing. Yeah. I'm not, it's nice to see the Sorceress doing as much damage as a Lich, actually. That's pretty impressive. No! Dang it. Okay, now it doesn't matter, but yeah, I just I may have just wrecked it by missing our attack there. Alright, good. I was kind of, if you know, one more miss, or one miss out of that Tiger Man, and we would have failed there. Um... You're gonna try to catch this guy, honestly. I'm not... Well... Actually, no. Aisha will definitely catch this one because it's not actually a flyer. This is just a, a marsh-type movement because of the Tiamat, or the zombie dragon, I guess. So you can just stay here, actually, and guard this path. Good. Alright, what else have we got going on? We've got... Some sort of healer with some fire dragons. So we probably don't want... Phantom unit to run into that one. That would be less good. Let's keep sending our dudes a little bit forward. Send for... It'll be daytime eventually, so you gotta be ready for that. I'll send myself over this way. And we'll send Norn a little bit on the southern path. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, looks like Eric's gonna catch those units, that unit. Write it out. Looks like Aisha's gonna miss the zombie dragon though, because I don't know why. I guess she's trying to prioritize um, deep water travel over shallow water travel, I guess. It's gonna add up a lot on our sorceress if they focus fire on her. I don't think we're gonna be able to win this fight by white. No, we're gonna do just not quite enough damage. It'll be fairly close though. I'll tell you what. I, I know I don't use tarot cards very often, so let's use an emperor card. This should guarantee us the wipe. As long as she doesn't die. Alright. You know, I think that was a reasonable use of a tarot card, even though I'll try to save those for bosses. But, you know, Lena kept... she, she survived, and then... Yes, that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Misclick. I'm sorry for everyone wasting five seconds of your life. Alright. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, this is not going quite the way I wanted. Aisha keeps missing her targets here. Okay, there is someone trying to move around the south way here. A whole bunch of ninjas. Alright, well... Generally speaking, the undead do quite well against that. It would be nice to actually have my uh, vampires in the forest, seeing as that's apparently what they're good at. I'll send myself this way so I can liberate that city. Is Aisha gonna catch this dude? Come on, girl. Swim those krakens. 
What was that? What is going on? That guy just, like, teleported. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure this fight is in our favor. We should be okay. Yeah, that's not gonna do very much. And I mean, in my experience, these evil ones were terrible, so... I'd be surprised if they can do any real damage. Yeah, the, the only one difficult at all would be the, the red dragon, and... He's already... dead. I'm sure they'll be able to hold out for a while. It looks like that unit was... What is going on over here? I'm... I, they're all over the place! Alright, we wanna go strong here. That is really bad start. That's double bad. That's double plus ungood. I don't think that revives status, unfortunately. I mean, that's nice. Man, quit killing my princess! Jerks! These guys are doing surprisingly well against us. Yeah, we just straight up lost. Okay, wait, what is... Like, hold on, hold on. What is going on? Why was this guy north of, of Guy? I don't understand, like... He circled around and... What is going on? What is going on with this guy? It's like, he's chasing me? But... Teleporting around a little bit? I don't I don't understand it. It's crazy. Alright, well guy caught up with these guys. You know. You know how it goes. Oh, I should have healed! Uh, please don't kill guy. Missing all the time. So we're back to that again, aren't we? The enemy killing us, never missing, and us missing all of our attacks. That's great. You know, I thought we'd finally move past those days of missing all the time. I mean, I, th I think we still get all of our attacks, but like... Like, you don't lose attacks because the princess is dead. You still get... What? Man, how did I lose that again? I thought we did lots of damage. Guy... Sorry, guy, but something wrong today. I what really confuses me is like, what, what level do these griffins? Cockatrice level twenty-one compared to my cockatrice level twenty-one. Why are I don't understand why I'm missing all my attacks and they are not. Or maybe it's even and it's just I'm salty, but it doesn't feel the same, does it? We need to kill the weakest one first. When we hit three out of four, I continue to miss. Well, you know, we're we're gonna win, but that was a, a, a bad start to Guy's unit for this map. Definitely not the way I was expecting. And then like, what is going on with this guy? They're, now they're like, they're gonna go try to steal my cities, I guess. That's what I get for leaving them unguarded, but... How many times has that happened in the entire game? Does that ever happen? Same thing here, it's like, are you going after me or are you going after my cities? Are you going after my cities now? Alright, Phantom should be okay. Yeah. You gotta hold this southern line, Phantom. Things are going weird. Alright, strong is probably the right choice. I think there's a, a strong chance we're gonna wipe these guys out completely in one round. Haha, <laughs> he didn't even hit he didn't even hit Phantom. It's because he's a lich. You shouldn't be able to kill him anyway, he's got a 
you know, invulnerability sort of deal. Oh, what's the name of that thing? I always forget the name. The, the item that a lich imbues their life force in so that you can't be killed. I always forget the name. Am I gonna catch these guys? Alright, I caught them. These jerks making my fish people swim around all day. Time to die. And if you kill me, I'm gonna be really upset, so don't you dare. Wow, two damage to the zombie dragon. That's off to a great start. We, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose, guys. Because we can't deal damage. Well, actually, we won because they kept missing, but... It actually... Almost bad idea. Push them right next to that anyway. Oh, man. And then I can't... Even worse, I can't actually teleport to the temple because the, the boots don't work for temples. Good. You just stay still like that so we can kill you. Alright, Eric, what have you got going on? You're at good health. I don't think I even catch these guys. I'm probably gonna have to teleport Guy to defend the city. Which at least I can do, unlike uh, that temple. The AI is like. They got like an upgrade for this match, it feels like. They're actually like moving around me and doing stuff this time. And I'm just playing on autopilot thinking it's all gonna be easy. Did I switch to weak? I should I head on strong? Oh, it's on strong. Don't know why we were focusing on that one Dark Knight. I don't know if we're gonna be able to kill it though. Need some pretty big hits here. <laughs> One damage short. <laughs> That's my life. My life right there. I don't think we'll be able to catch it, but I guess we'll try. Aisha, so you did catch the zombie dragon. That's something. I guess we have to kill the leader. I mean, the leader's gonna die either way, so... Problem is, we can't really hurt this thing. Well, that was our two starlights. At that point, we can't really deal damage. I don't want to run away, so... Well... Actually, it's okay. We'll run away. Um... That guy, now that we've killed the leader, it will just try to run back to base. It, does, it can't capture a city while it's leaderless. So I can send Aisha back around this side, and um, I can finish it off. Okay, I'm pretty sure Phantom's fine for ninjas. I'll need to remember to heal him up eventually, but for now we should be totally a-okay. Yeah, look how amazing those ninjas are, huh? Good thing I used so many of them earlier on. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, this is this is good for my blood pressure. Much better than those last couple battles. Good work, Phantom. Definitely good work. You've you've secured the southern lines. All right. Gotta keep an eye on what's going on up here. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it there in time. Blue, though! So, I think my attack, as it's white, should finish this off. I am very disappointed that no one else does any damage. Like, okay, we actually don't do enough damage now. Because everyone just does one. Mmm... 
Just because I'm sick of this fight. Now you're dead for real. You're not just undead, you're dead dead. Re-dead! Alright, so this guy is again... An oh, it's another one of these zombie dragon things. Ugh. Okay, Aisha, you need to catch him this time. The last one skipped by you. I didn't... <laughs> I was meaning... No, don't let him get by! I was, of course, meaning to teleport in there, and I got distracted. Alright, guy. You need to get some revenge here. This is ridiculous. This unit isn't even dangerous. Just crush them. Crush them like the ants they are. I don't think we're going to wipe them out, though. We're just not doing quite enough damage. And now my Cogatrice is back in this mode, so that's always fun. So glad for that to have happened again. Someone, there's a switch in the back of my cockatrice, and yeah, someone turned it to miss. You know, we gotta win, we just pushed it closer to the city it wants to conquer. Unless they hold still. Alright, hold it. Again, look at that little teleporting cheat. I guess there must be some sort of sync between the game and, and the display that's just not quite right. Um, anyway, I'm not letting that happen again. Nice try, cheapskate AI. I can teleport too! You're not the only ones! Yeah, good work. Good work, Cockatrice. So glad I keep you around. I, you know, I... I Smack talking them. It is the middle of the night. He can't see well. He's got daytime eyes. He's night blind. He's just a bird anyway when it comes right down to it. Alright, hopefully Eric's acceptable here. I forgot to check for her health, but we should be more than enough. Hey, trying to kill my uh, werewolves, hey? Good, good luck. I don't think the monk there is going to survive. Well, he survived after all, because... You know, my old friend hit rate... Oh no, never mind, he's dead. I forgot the sorcerer's going to attack. My, my friend and yours, bad hit rate, returned. But it was not enough to stop us from killing the monk. Okay, now we've got two leaderless units. It would be really nice to finish that dragon off. Alright, let's, uh, you know, Eric is kind of overextending here a little bit. Let's throw a little bit of potions on him. I mean, they don't take much damage, but just in case, he's fighting the cursed enemy griffin units that dodge everything. At least that didn't work out. Alright, we should be good. You know, hitting the mage is not optional. You actually need to kill him. Thank you so much for our second AoE attack. That's good. Wow. Alright, werewolves. I was just about to say good work for getting that huge hit. And then you went and missed and ruined it. Now I'm bad work. You failed. Alright, so Aisha was able to get in the way here. That's good. I don't know how effective this will be. I mean... We'll probably kill the devil again. If we could hit it. Yeah, right back to the old tried and true missing all your important attacks. We didn't even kill it. Might as well just retreat at this point, we're not going to do any damage with the Kraken. Alright, you got to try to get in the way again. Ah. 
have to re-liberate that city. Come on, catch somebody. Just catch somebody. Alright, Eric caught one of them at least. It's the dragon that needed to die. Good. Thank you, Eric. Can you catch the next one too? Probably not. I think these guys will move too quickly in the mountains to be caught up with. A normal unit would be slowed down and you'd be fine, but it's not gonna work here. Yeah. Alright, back off. You're a little bit too close to the enemy base right now. Oh good, this guy's changed direction again. Alright, well I guess I will try to deal with it. Okay, now this guy's changed direction as well. <laughs> they just never give up. Now, we did get a reputation back, but keep in mind, overall, you lose reputation from this. If an enemy conquers your city, you lose, like, five or six or something, and then if you re-liberate it with a good unit, you'll probably get two or three back. But it's not quite balanced. Unless you get a good reputation card, maybe. You know, if you get the plus three reputation draw, you could uh, probably make a positive overall. Or at least break even. You'll be fine. Actually, you won't be. Never mind. I changed it. Your uh, sorceress will die, because they're just going to focus her down with the stupid stone attack that never misses. When they use it. <laughs> See, it never misses when they want to use it. Okay, we're going to run away here so that we don't lose someone's life. I was planning on having Eric backtrack a bit anyway, so this is fine. I mean, I'm not happy about the situation of them always petrifying my sorceress, but uh, okay. That's how they're going to play, that's how they're going to play. Probably won't be able to kill this one either. I'll kill the leader, but that's probably all we'll get. Ooh, we're up to four damage! <laughs> Not even close. Well, I got all those healings in. Let's just back off. We're not gonna really do damage to it. Kind of neat we got the levels up, though, from killing the, um... From killing the devil in the back row. I wish you could target your units to follow an enemy unit. In Ogre Battle 64 you can do that, but in this game you have to just manually maneuver everyone around, which is... Well, it's not... it's just a bit slow. And it's a bit... it's a bit tough when you're trying to micromanage a ton of different units all at once on a big map. Alright, Eric. Probably the last fight I'm gonna give you, and then I'm gonna send you back home to... use a boots or something to send you home. Yeah, look at their cockatrice never missing. Jerks. And of course, it petrified one of the werewolves that I was... Well, okay, of course nothing. I was worried that we were going to not have quite enough attacks to kill it, thanks to the uh, the jerks petrifying Clayby. But that didn't happen, so I take it back. Everything's cool. Uh, let's just send this guy... Um, right, we can't send him here. I'll send him here, I'll just walk him to the temple. Okay, that's acceptable. I'm gonna move Fogel a little bit further forward. He hasn't really fought at all yet. I'm going to continue trying to move forward to the city again. You can see this unit just keeps changing direction constantly. Really hard to catch up with. 
All right, guys, you should be able to not probably do much damage to this guy. We'll see. Oh, oh, he still has the rune axe. Ha ha ha! I'm like, how did you do so much damage? <laughs> so there, there's a good reason to leave a white weapon equipped. If you're gonna fight zombie dragons, yeah, that's that's yes. I meant to do that. All right, guy has caught. The sorceress ghosts, I think, which should be uh, easy, easy peasy. Technically, I believe the cockatrice can kill them as well, anyway. Just like the Halloween can kill them with a special attack. But Starlight is pre overpowered. Okay, that was. That was better, but man, the dodging these enemies have been doing is uh, it's difficult. More than I'm expecting. Like, I know earlier on in the series, like at the beginning, I was really plotting out my moves carefully, and then like, we got this far, and I'm like, ah, you know, I know what to expect by now, right? Not so much. I'm actually gonna send her over here. Because it's gonna be daytime, Phantom's units will weaken a bit. He's probably fine, but... Well, he's actually totally fine. They can't even hurt him, I don't think. Phantom, you'll be fine, right? I mean, I said you're fine. You might not do optimum damage, but they can't really hurt you, right? That was actually more damage than I was expecting. If they hit him four times, or even three times, he would actually die. But we're gonna kill them all before that's gonna happen. There we go. So I gotta watch his health. If he fights enough samurais, he'll actually slowly go down. Okay, Eric is resting, we've got... That will be not a problem at all for them. The same fight they've already done once before, I believe. Phantom fights the ninjas. I'm so scared of ninjas. In case you can't tell, there's a little bit of sarcasm in my voice. The most powerful unit in the game, certainly. Look at them, hitting everyone for massive damage. Oh, you mean they didn't hit everyone for massive damage? Oh, right, ninjas suck, sorry. It appears that the shinobi have more black resistance than the black knights do. Just for interest sake. Because fat er, Nightmare is doing less damage to them. They should have less physical resistance though, so they uh... The wraiths should just cut through them, like, well, you know, like they did. All right, so this fight has the skeletons up front, right? Yeah, we should be okay here. Oh, we actually lost our uh, our tiger man. He's in normal mode. Oh man, stop that! But he can still use his weapon. I don't know if we're gonna be able to keep our lich alive if they keep hitting him every time. It's gonna be close. Looks like... Oh, come on, you jerk. Let's make sure uh, we kill the last undead, at least. We're not gonna get a wipe, because they killed my lich. Oh, no! Do we only get two attacks? Ah! We don't get three attacks when we're in uh, day form. I was sort of counting on... Uh, Idran here to finish them off, but yeah, I messed that up. Oops, my bad. I was- they kept doing 14 damage to the Lich, so when he had 17 left, I'm like, oh, he'll be fine, right? I was wrong. Alright, Foggold needs to get some combat in. We've liberated Preton. Good for us. At least we did it before uh, the day started, so we'll get more money. And that's always fun. 
I might as well keep it. I've been using a fair number of cards this episode. <laughs> Shamalama used to be covered by ice and snow blown in from the highlands. But thanks to all these volcanoes, this has become very comfortable. I don't mind the ash and smoke. At least, it would be if the Empire weren't here. You know, living in a volcanic range is probably super fun. Until you'll get blown up Pompeii style. Alright, guys. You need to finish this job. Now you're doing 30 damage to him. Great. I guess we're fighting in the water, so we're probably at a bit of a disadvantage with our land units. Except maybe the dragon, I don't know. Anyway, that's fine, we win. Hold up. You think you're smart, don't you? You think you're clever. Sneaking around over there. And keep moving uh, Phantom over. Keep an eye on the middle. Boggles should be effective here, I bet. And he, the dragons are pretty good most of the time. Not a lot of damage though. Not a lot of damage indeed. <sighs> Enemy dragons must have some sort of buff stat. <laughs> they just must. Like, we're gonna lose this fight. Because we're not really dealing any damage. Well, probably gonna lose the fight. I can't really keep my alchemist alive. They're gonna target her one more time and she'll die, so... Or he, I guess. It's a boy, technically. Why are the enemy dragons so strong? I don't understand it. Q... Kookaburra, why are you not good? I mean, the problem in these kind of units is always when they avoid my Dragoon and my Dragons, and they focus down a weaker unit, who I can't really defend anyway. And then they take more damage than my healer can deal with. Oh, I need to keep moving. Liberate this stuff. Alright, Fogel, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to win this one either, but try again! Um... Sure, just it up. I think it's ice damage, so it should work pretty good against the dragons. Oh yeah! That was pretty good. Alright, we'll be fine now. My alchemist it just seems like they're so bad. <laughs> I tried to move them around into stronger teams so that they didn't seem so terrible, but like, they just don't deal enough damage. They've got the two AoEs, which is nice, but it's like it doesn't, it almost it doesn't really do anything. It's just, you know, 20 damage to anything. Hey, another Stone of Dragos, that's convenient. Uh, from a Dragoon with a Dragon. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Rat's a little bit low level, I guess, but... I think the problem is he probably doesn't get enough intelligent boosts from level up, so he doesn't really keep up with the enemies, or my, my mages, liches, and sorceresses. Another try here against a slightly different group. Alright, Aisha did manage to catch them. Good. Good. Excellent. This should be a no-brainer quick victory. That did not do very much damage, though, to the sorceress. But, you know, the Kraken. I'm sure she enjoys visiting Japan. The tentacles from the deep got her. Alright, let's move along here. And then over. 
You're not getting past Aisha. No way. Well, we lost a little bit of money on upkeep, but that's wasn't that much. There's no big deal. This one's... I wonder if it goes through that way or not. Alright, Aisha, you should be more than enough to match these guys during the daytime. Back to strong. They'll all be dead. As soon as we do Starlight again, they've got no chance. And the Kraken is doing a ton of damage. Very nice. Good. Good, good, good. You know, I've got ups and downs. Some battles are really easy. Some battles, not so amazing. Alright, I'm trusting you, Foggy. Vogel. Foggy's good name. Good nickname. Let's see how he does here. So, strong seems to be the general strategy. Alright, Nova does reasonably well against non-fire dragons. Acid, still not that amazing, unfortunately. Fogel does lots of damage. The enemy Nova wasn't all that amazing, at least. I'm satisfied with that performance. That was that was definitely acceptable. He might not have wiped them all out with one shot, but he did well. You've liberated Habalone! Ham on the bone? We had the old bologna sandwich before. Might as well pick up some cards now that I'm using them a little bit more often. Queen Florin hasn't been killed because she knows a lot about the Three Mystic Treasures. Uh, the Three Mystic Treasures? If you go to the city of Mafkin, Mafkin to the west, I'm sure you'll learn more about them. So, I, I, I sort of mixed these up a little bit. There are Mystic Treasures, and there are Mystic Jewels. We did the Three Mystic Jewels to get the Tablet of Yeru and the Zodiac Stones. The Three Mystic Treasures are a little bit different. But you also need them to get a good end. Okay, well there's probably something in here, right? Actually... There should be something... I don't think I sent anyone to this one. I'll send them up there. Go we'll find some treasure, Phantom. Alright, what did I catch? I caught the Zombie Dragon. At day. So that's a good city for me to guard, actually. Although, I don't know if I'll... Well, it's daytime. I should do reasonable damage, right? That sucks. Okay, at least we can hurt it now. Now that we're fighting at the correct time of the day, my hero units can actually deal some damage. If they can hit it. Still not going to be a clear victory, though. Yeah, what if they're going to wipe it out? But I got myself a level up. That doesn't hurt. 22. Eh, I'm still not over leveled yet. Fogel! Okay, you've got a lot of stuff to kill here, old buddy. You should be okay. You've got a healer. So we'll switch to leader for this fight. I actually probably should have put, um... If I wanted to min-max, I should have put the... Or micromanage, I guess. I should have put the fire dragon in the front row so he could focus on... Um, oh, I forgot about that, too. Uh, so I could focus on the... Um, on the sorceress with just single target attacks rather than AoEs, but... I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. Mostly okay. Ah, uh, yeah, she's pretty dead, isn't she? Now, I could have our monk heal and have Fogel finish it off, but I figured it was safer to try both because we actually missed the monk heal, didn't we? How's his level doing? Like, I don't want to over-level these guys terribly. Level 27. I think it's one more level up for the dragon. That's what I want. 
And so I'll try to get him to level 23, and then we'll probably pull him back or try to switch him out. This is not going to be a good fight for us. This is really not good. Yeah, the enemy units with dragons, they're definitely my biggest nemesis right now. They're able to focus down... Yeah, I mean, like... I could have run away, I guess, but, like... It doesn't seem to matter what I do, they're just gonna focus down the alchemist really, really quickly. And then they're gonna focus down the healer. Like, they're just gonna ignore anyone who's got resistance to them. It seems like. And that's... I mean, that's really hard to deal with. Because they can target anyone, no matter where you are in the group. And I can't kill them quickly, so... Yeah, that's, that's pretty brutal. That fight should be acceptable, though. Uh... I wonder if I'll be able to catch him if I sort of push... If I push right over to the west. Or maybe Geist could catch him? Okay. Cockatrice against Fogel, uh, should be better than the Fire Dragons, at least. Oh good, yeah, yeah, that's off to a great start. I guess, maybe, the reason I get a little bit upset is that when I use them, the large units really struggle to be effective. Like, you've seen it since the since the early days, right? The large units, you know, sometimes they're okay, sometimes they're bad. Usually they're on the poor side of, of good. But when the enemy uses the large units, they seem, like, surprisingly powerful. I, you know, I don't know if overpowered necessarily, but definitely better than what I get, you know. That was a nice little cleanup there. Alright, you're gonna rest up. Start guarding a city -er for a little while here, rather than pushing forward all the time. Oh, well that was a weird name. Ochi... Ogopogo? We'll call this Ogopogo City. Uh, that's not really what I wanted. But that's okay. General Previa is known not only for his swordsmanship, but also for his powerful magic. Not only that, but he's also been studying under the Mage Rashidi lately. That may make a tough battle for characters with high alignments. Yeah, well, all the enemy bosses are evil. You should have known by now. Alright, um... I better heal up my, uh, alchemist. I may end up cutting the alchemists after this battle, to be honest. We'll see how I feel. They haven't been... Like, they're not MVPs by any stretch, so... You just get focused down so fast. That's a very powerful enemy unit. Because they get like six of those fire attacks per round. And, like, they could, if, if, if they're smart about it, there's almost always someone they'll be able to kill. Because it's the same as my fire dragon if I put him in the front row, but if you had six of those fire attacks that did like 50-60 damage, they're always going to be able to kill someone. I mean, there's different standards of powerful for my units and enemy units. Like, I'm trying to get a full wipe. If they simply kill one of my guys, I get a little bit upset because, well, they lose experience. I have to pay extra money to resurrect them, etc. The, the enemy don't really have to worry about that. Geist? Aren't I in front of him? Well, it doesn't really matter, but... I could have sworn I was further south than Geist there. Really didn't matter much, but just kind of odd. And a moonbeam! Sure, why not? Alright, what's going on? Um... Yeah, stuff down here. Are you guys going for Norm? That's awesome! 
I was hoping Norn could get some experience. You guys are totally gonna die. And you're going after Aisha? That's fine. She'll kill you. Probably. We're in a pretty good position right now, I feel. Alright, Norn. Show him, show him what's what. Rearranged unit a little bit. Go strong. Yeah, you know, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Over 100 damage. <laughs> uh, it's not quite enough to kill everybody in one round, but, you know. <laughs> or one, I don't know, one phase, I guess. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. And you're all dead. Everybody dies. I wonder if that's enough. Gotta check Yushi again. She's another one that I'm really, really close to. Yeah, there we go. Seraphim. She'll lose her fancy color, unfortunately, but now we've got our own Seraphim hero with, thankfully, because of the princess, a double Jihad. Now, if you didn't have a princess leading the group, the choice would be two Banish versus one Jihad. Uh, two single target white versus one AoE white. I don't know which one's better than that situation. But with a princess, it's three versus two, and the two AoE is definitely better. So yeah, we've got four AoE white magic in this group. It's a little bit crazy. And before I do that, I want to make sure Norn catches this fool. Don't try to dodge me. All right, Aisha, you should be okay, I think. Stupid Griffin unit. But you're in the waters during the day. You should have all the advantages I can give you. Just don't miss. It's annoying that they petrified my uh, my mermaid so early, but come on, Kraken, don't be like that. Don't be that guy that misses all his attacks. There you go. Hey, you, you earned that level up. Good work, buddy. Alright, keep an eye on things. Alright, so you're totally ignoring Aisha. So... I don't know where this guy's going. We're not going to catch him with a Wyvern. Not much I can do there, is there? This guy... I wonder where he's going. Well, if I can kill that one, pull Geist back a little bit just in case for some reason they were stealing the fights from me. Um, I'm gonna need someone to catch these guys in the middle here. They're not that powerful, but I guess I should send Falgo because I want him to get that level up. And nothing's coming his way right now. Okay, I'll send him up this way. Alright, Blue. A lot of enemies will target me specifically. Uh, we actually don't want Strong. Actually, Strong doesn't matter here. Because I've got that. <laughs> Normally, you know, you know the drill. I don't- I want my healer to kill them and they won't do that on Strong, so. Alright! That was pretty much the way you would want it to go. You found a Roshian temple, all right. That might not have been the greatest idea because I can't teleport people here to defend it, but uh, we'll just roll with it. Strength card is pretty bad. It's just physical defense in battle, I believe, so. I've heard that General Previa used to be a very pious person, but thanks to Rashidi's black magic, he has become a horrible black knight. Please save him by hitting him on the head. Let me give you the sword Fafnil. This is another one of those legendary swords. Alright. How awesome is Fafnil, you guys think? That's pretty awesome. Definitely up there. It's better than Sigmund by a small margin. That's cool. It might even be White Element, which would be awesome. Alright, Fogel caught them. This guy might be headed for Phantom. Either way, I should try to catch him with Phantom if I can. And I guess Norn send you down this way for now. 
There's that island down there, too. Tell ya what. Let's go liberate this from behind their back. I think we're almost at the end here. They're still going to be deploying units for a little while, but I think, you know, we're, we're almost done. Alright, Fogel, you're in good HP. Let's give me that Red Dragon promotion I'm dying for. Second last of the promotions now. Just got a couple dragons that need to get promoted up. Okay, now is the time when the alchemists at least get some progress. And then the fools are... are they're foolish enough to go after Fogel. Thank you. It's, it's nice for a change. Instead of killing my alchemist every time. Ah, these guys, they got no chance. Maybe this is just the kind of group that I'm built to murder. Rather than enemy dragons. I guess I don't really have like an anti-dragon unit. I don't know who would be good at that. Someone that I felt like putting like ice axes on or something probably. So you're coming for me, eh? And you're not gonna win though. Goes your healer. There goes one of your dragons. Managed to hit Greg. Made him a little bit upset, but now you're dead. Nice try. Alright, where are you? Where do you think you're going there? I think I'm. Oh, wait, this is a shop. Always gotta check out your shops when you notice them. Nothing unique as far as I can tell. All right, so we did we did intercept these guys. Uh, I think we'll be f well. No, we'll be fine. It's the daytime. The uh, demons aren't going to do a ton of damage with their inferno on on Phantom. There's no way. If they even try. Nice one. I don't know if we're going to get a full wipe here or not, but we should do a lot of damage at the very least. The old go-to of a lot. We might have enough. I think we can have two more attacks. That'd be enough if we don't miss. Yeah. Good work, Phantom and his undead. That's the way I like it. Okay. Now what? Are we done? I was hoping Fogel could catch this guy, but... Might be Geist that gets him. Oh! Well, we've liberated Selaway. You're running out of cities, Diva. Temperance, there you go. That makes up for them capturing our city, I figure. The Queen Florin is loved by everyone! Please help her! That's, that's the job. Oh, you're gonna go that way, hey? Good luck. Alright, well, guys, I was kind of figuring Fogel was gonna catch him, but... It doesn't matter. This one, the resolution is clear. You're all gonna die. Geist unit is pretty strong. Agility up, I'm sure. So are they down to just that one unit, then? Is that really it? Probably that is the last one. Sweet. So that means we are basically done then. Which is what I was kind of hoping for. Hey, a world card. A little bit late, but I don't mind. If Queen Florin is being held in Fort Shamalama... Oh, please hurry. Hurry and help the Queen. Here, let me give you the Sword Notos. I'm sure it will help you. I mean, we've already got like three or four, but they are really good. That's one of those wind swords. Yeah, they start giving you pretty good weapons at this point in the game, I see. Sigmund, Fafniel, Notos, Mafakin. Oh, we're supposed to go here to talk to somebody, I think, too. Another good card? Too many again, hey? Well, I've got a bunch of chariots. The Emperor's probably better than that. What do you plan on doing after you finish the Empire? Vacation. 
If you plan on restoring the kingdom, you should find the three mystic treasures. The Grail, the Sword Brunhild, and the Mystic Armband. Hmm. We've heard of the Grail, we have Brunhild. I don't know anything about that Mystic Armband, we'll probably never find it. It is said that King Grand of Zenobia had the Grail and the Mystic Armband. Well, he's dead now, so what good does that do us? Alright, guy. You need to prove your worth here. That you can wipe this group out. Turn that dragon to stone. Yeah! And then kill them all. I think there's a reasonable chance we're going to kill everything here. Depends how much damage Fogel can, or Slust can do to that guy. He should have two hits. Oh yeah, we got him. Totally got him. If I remember correctly, the mechanics work that once you have been petrified, you basically have no agility at all and you can't dodge attacks. Okay, so this is going to be... a diva with some raven men and some devils. Alright, why don't we use... Well, I was going to use Debonair, but he's not here. Actually, no, it's probably more appropriate for Tristan anyway. He's supposed to be rescuing his mom, so yeah. I'm going to send him up there to rescue his mom. Uh, probably in the morning once it's bright out again. Um up some treasure while we're messing around. There is in fact some treasure here that we missed. And that might be it. I found the treasure in here, right? And that's it, there's just the two, so yeah. Fine. Pretty simple map as far as loot goes. What do we get? A rune axe! Oh, that is amazing! It's possibly the best white element weapon. Plus 15 and white. I don't know if there's anything better. For sure. There might be, but, you know. So I could send everyone home again and, uh, make a bit of money, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna wait till it to be relatively daylight. And that should be enough. Actually, I suppose I'm such a nice guy. We'll even heal Norn up to full. But yeah, Tristan, Norn, Yushi, you gotta, you gotta rescue the queen. Rescue the queen from the diva. I cannot allow this rebellion to go any further. You killed one of my brothers and recruited my other brother. I'm no wimp like Debonair or Figaro. I shall show you the true power of the... Whatever I am, I don't even really know. Right ahead. Diva? Vita? Who knows? Alright, all I know is, uh... There's probably gonna be some heavy magic coming in, so I've got all these world cards sitting around. You definitely want to save a few for the final couple battles. But, uh... Let's just throw one of those in now. We got lots. That was a lot of damage for someone hitting my general there. Let's also throw in one more. Um... We've got a lot of AoE white magic. A lot. Let's throw in one physical, see how it does. It's based- it's still gonna be based on like our leader's intelligence. So it's still gonna really hurt. Actually that was- maybe it's based on your leader's strength actually. Possible. Alright. Starlight, star bright. You're all dead tonight. And our Cherubim. That's gonna hurt a lot. Well, it basically just killed everyone who wasn't, uh, wasn't a boss. <laughs> Alright, so now what you got? What you got for me? Yeah, 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 my Paladin can't hit you fine. Hmm. I don't like missing all my attacks. Come on, Tristan, you gotta save your mum. Show the world you can save her better than the random paladin beside you, because apparently he doesn't do any damage. Alright, Meteor! You know, ha! Ha ha! Oh, Tristan, I don't know if that was your last attack! I think he gets one more, I think he gets four in the front row. No, Tristan! Your mom!
You didn't rescue her! I was sure he was gonna hit! Now you're gonna make me waste more time? And you're gonna see the tricky mechanic that the enemy always gets of instantly reviving to full HP their entire group, which is totally cheating. I mean, I do the same thing, but it's totally cheating when they do it. Um, well, in this situation, I'll be willing to throw down one more tarot card. Oh, you resurrected all your friends, did you? Ha ha ha! Nah, they're gone. Tristan! Yeah, why didn't you do that last time? And fine then, you know what? Norn's got your back. She starlight star brighted. First star she saw this night and saved your life. Or your mom's life, maybe. Blue! My mother! The queen, what's happened? Trevia, he already... I see. I'm very sorry, Tristan. If you just killed him the first time when I sent you after him, maybe you would have saved your mother. You need to work on your accuracy, buddy. You need some training. I don't know how to contain the anger I feel at yourself, because you could have saved her if you had just won the fight, like everyone else does on the first time against bosses. From now on, I will live only to destroy the Empire. Please take this mystic armband in remembrance of my mother, that we may live for the same goal. Eternal honor to the rebels! So there you go, we got one of the three uh, mystic treasures there. <laughs> in case you're wondering, you can't save his mother. I was just playing it up because Tristan messed up. Anyway, there's lots of fireworks, everyone's happy. Should make some money here a little bit, at least. Eh, you know. You don't make a lot from that, but better than nothing. Okay, that has unlocked Xanadu. Well, we're definitely going to be doing Kulin first. Kool-Aid first. Um, this is really getting close to the end of the game. Like, we're going to do this one, maybe get the last of the three Mystic Treasures, then it's basically, like, end game, the last couple of missions. I don't know if there's just two left or three left after this, but, you know, we're, we're almost there. I suppose... Unlike Muspelm, I should make sure I double check for uh, treasure and loot and stuff. I know we got all the buried treasure, but apparently revisiting cities is something that I occasionally forget to do. It's gonna take a while to get over there. And yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep those alchemists. If I can find a better way to rearrange my units that I don't need the alchemists, I might just cut them out to be honest. There are always casualties in a war. Remember that we still support you. Please do not be discouraged. And fight to the end! Until you get to Empress Endora herself. Yeah. I get the feeling we're going to hear that message a few times. In remembrance of uh, Tristan's mom. Poor guy. Couldn't quite rescue his mom. There's a garrison in Preton, in, there was a garrison in Preton in the era of the Kingdom of Ophi. Would you like to hear about the fighting strategies? Eh, okay. There are many magical weapons floating around. There are five types. You can tell the different types of magic a weapon holds by the way it flashes in battle. I will almost never recognize this. Now, I think I've mentioned to it, it to you guys before, but yes, right when you hit an enemy, they will flash a different color depending on the element of the attack, whether you're using a fire weapon or if your just natural element is fire. But I can never seem to notice it. Fire is red, ice is blue, electric is purple instead of yellow. White is green instead of white, and black is, well, black. I think yellow is just default, actually. And find your enemy's weakness, you'd have to just learn via trial and error. There's no in-game way of figuring that out. You are about to enter the Highlands! The weather there is very cold. Head for Xanadu! I think that's the capital of the Empire. May the gods follow you always! Except for when you go to visit them in Falana. You go visit Falana and she's not there. Um, 
the Empire is beginning to crumble! This is all thanks to you. Thank you. Thank you. Beyond here, you will be entering the Highlands. You will find Overlord Hikash in the city of Xanadu. Do you have all the strength you need? Are your units well balanced? Well, I keep cutting out the, uh... Chaffel, I guess. That's why I'm talking about removing my alchemists. We'll be real balanced when all we're using is dragoons, dragons, and liches. I don't know if that's balanced at all, but we'll be strong. I wonder if clean foreign is safe. Huh? It is said that the queen carried the mystic armband. No, no, Tristan had that. The queen is dead. Those guys are way behind the times. Backwater village over here. So, the Queen Florin was already dead. <laughs> there are always casualties. Look, I get it. You guys must not have liked the Queen very much. <laughs> there are always casualties in wars. Even if a Queen was just murdered in cold blood rather than handed over to the Rebellion. It's just the way war is. <laughs> Pretty cold hearted, man. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get much else. We'll be thorough. Have you heard of were tigers? They're just like werewolves. They turn into tigers at night. You don't see them too often, but if you use this full moon stone, you can summon one. If you can find me the Tome of Myths, I'll give you this full moon stone. We don't even need a full moon stone, so that's a side quest I'm probably not going to bother with. Now, in case you're wondering, I do remember this map for one other reason. Um, I don't know if I'll be lucky enough. Do I have any of the items anymore? There's a... Uh... There was an item that... I keep forgetting about the Delphs or... Oh, Chime, I've got two. I'm not sure if we'll get the right one. I'm gonna put a quick save in and see if I can uh, get what I want. All right. No, that is not what I wanted. Try again. Probably just get the same thing, right? Yeah. Uh, let's try me in a mountain rather than a volcano. I've only got a couple of these and you generally can't buy them, so... I want to show you guys something. Come on! Why would you just give me those? We're both... You have to be like right on top of the fire. Just jump on in. sure this is the map. Maybe, is there darker mountains? Sometimes there's different colored mountains and you get different uh, units in different ones. Maybe it's like the ones over by the castle here. What do we get? Come on! Alright, well let's just kill this one and we'll try it again. Told you cockatrices could kill those. Alright, one more time. I don't I don't know if this is really worth it, but like if I don't get it this time, I'll just spoil it and tell you what you can get. Yeah, okay. So you can fight actual salamans on this map, the way I remember. I, I mean maybe I'm wrong, but like 99% sure this is the map that has salamans on it. So if you're having a really hard time getting a red dragon leveled up with neutral alignment, you can just recruit one here. Uh, it might take you a while to find one, but I'm pretty sure this is the map. So, there, there is like a map for all the promoted dragons, except the zombie dragon. You can get Tiamat's, but you need to use an undead ring to get the, the zombie dragon. But uh, you can get a platinum dragon and a t salamand somewhere if you know where to go and you feel like grinding away trying to get lucky, which, well, I don't know how long that'll take. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time in the Shrine of Kulin. Have a great day.